Alright. So apparently people are hallucinating on the ship now. Well, at least I remembered this time that I had to be on the level with it. Alright. Now this jump is tricky. Because you have to stand in like an exact certain spot in order for it to work. I think I just remember. Right up here it should be. Yep, there it is. Ah, I'm trying to remember how to get out of here. Yep, that would be right. Lots of blood on the floor in here. Exiting zero gravity. Really? I don't like this organic shit because you can't run on it. Not that I like to run a lot in the game anyway, but there's no enemies here, so running would have been kind of nice. <laughs> Going down. Apparently I got misdirected there for a second. Thought I heard something, I guess. Ah, slashers. Wow. I just own three slashers with five cutter rounds. How about that? Yeah, it happens when you upgrade its damage. Prepare for a boss battle. Yeah, let's get some power nodes. Just because I have a whole bunch of money. Not going below 30,000, though. I think I covered that a few videos ago. <laughs> Just not gonna do it. Nope, not gonna blow 30,000. I'll put one here in capacity, one here in damage. Hey, my cutter's damage is now maxed out. How about that? Yeah, it's really that easy. Another one here. Uh, 
Line gun damage won't hurt. And I'll hold two. Just because I have no idea what I'm going to spend them on yet. Ideally, I try and fo keep my node focus on the cutter, health, and line gun a little, for the most part. A little, put a, dump a little into the pulse rifle, maybe. Maybe one or two into the force gun, but... For the most part, I tend to focus on the cutter. Now, I gotta get some ammo. I am way overdoing it. This thing can take more than a hundred shots. It's all powerful. Believe me, with a maxed out cutter, it's not going to take over a hundred shots. Oh, duh! I got to do this first. Flushing all air Oops. Yeah, that would help. Nitrogen and oxygen levels. Food storage lockdown lifted. Thank you, computer. Look at all the shit on the sides. Log, this is Dr. Cross. It's hard for me to believe what I'm seeing here. This is crazy. Absolutely crazy. I'm going to the mining deck. I hear that's where survivors are gathering. Jacob, I'll wait for you there. Oh, she wasn't kidding. I mean, if you look at all the shit on the sides there, right through the glass, it's or all this organic stuff. Damn it! The poison wasn't strong enough. It's still alive. Get in there and kill it before it contaminates the entire ship. Okay. Aren't we glad everything is so easy? At least it takes place in zero G. That makes it more interesting. I'll just grab that ammo. Hey look, there's those damn tentacles that have been grabbing me. Yeah, when they swing, you have to jump, otherwise they hit you and it hurts a lot. Apparently that one hit me and I didn't realize it. How funny is that? That one hit me too. I didn't realize it now after the fact when I'm watching this, but when I was playing it apparently I did. How's that work? Alright, now it gets real easy. There's a couple ways you can do this. Obviously, that's the weak point there, the center. Now, it shoots out these little exploding projectiles at you. You can grab them with kinesis and throw them back at it, which is time-consuming, but it saves ammo. Or you can just do what I'm doing, say, fuck it, and just fire maxed-out cutter rounds at it. Both ways are effective. It just depends on whether or not you want to waste the ammo or, you know, risk using kinesis. If you fuck up trying to grab one of those, you're dead. Because it'll knock, it'll knock you to the ground and the next one will kill you. There's just, there's no getting away from it. So I don't even mess around with it. I just shoot him. A lot. Look at that, he's done. Hmm, I killed that thing in under two minutes. How about that? <laughs> And yes, I'm 